Hello, my dear friends. I'm about to give you a free gift. It's a sample video from my patreon.com site, and it is a mini mentoring session. You'll get one of these every Friday, just as a little teaser, a little taste to see what it would be like to get one of these five days a week. If you decide you'd like to have one of these mini mentoring sessions five days a week, ad free, go to a better life with fly lady cat at patreon.com p a t r e o n dot com and sign up it's only five dollars a month you get 20 videos a month and they are designed to give you a kick in the pants first thing in the morning it's set up so that you can see them first thing so you can watch them in bed even before you get going it's designed for payroll and at home homemakers and it will help you with the way you think about the way you're doing life and doing the fly lady system. So I hope that you go over and check out my Patreon site. While you're there, look at all of the other opportunities that I have for you for mentoring. We do personal one-on-one -on -one mentoring. There are different levels of that. And also I offer this year in 2022 financial mentoring. So if you need a budget, if you would like to be financially independent, now's the time to sign up for that as well. Okay, have a wonderful day. Enjoy the video. Hello, my patrons. Today's video is entitled, Writing Your Own Story. And what that means is that the outcome of your life is all up to you. So if right now you're living in clutter, disorganization, depression, anxiety, um, overwhelm, it's time to change your story. And the way you can do that is by actually doing the fly lady system. It's an old fashioned system. It's a system that's tried and true. I know that you're doing it, but I want you to consider how it will change your life. I know that you're a patron. Most of you know the system and have been doing the system, but some of you are new. So it could be a refresher for you or a nice initial conversation with me. So um, writing your own story begins every morning. It begins every morning and it ends every night. And if your story is that you want to have that house where all the kids come to play or you want to have that house where Christmas is peaceful and beautiful or you want to have that house that when you ride by you say what a sweet house or if you want to have that house where the doors are always open to friends and family or you want to have that house where you can go and be by yourself and regenerate and re-energize yourself this is your story it's not my story it's not your mother's story it's not your neighbor's story it's your story so based on what you love need want just like what you keep when you're decluttering, it's the same thing. What do you love, need, and want in your life? And what do you not love, need, and want in your life? And those things we're gonna get rid of, and we're gonna start with our evening routine, the cornerstone of all the routines, the evening routine, where you get ready for bed, you brush and floss your teeth, your sink is ready to go in the morning, you've got a new towel out, the dishwasher's running, or you've washed all the dishes and they're in the drain rack. You're gonna go to bed at a decent hour, you're gonna get enough sleep, your skin is moisturized, your skin is clean. You're gonna wake up in the morning and you're gonna put on those clothes that you laid out the night before and make your bed. That's how you're gonna start your day. This is the beginning of your new story. You're gonna brush your teeth and wash your face and put on moisturizer, maybe some, maybe some uh, makeup. You're gonna fix your hair. You're going to swish the toilet and wipe out the sink and go swish the other toilets and other sinks. I know I say these things all the time, but they're so important. These are the beginnings of your routines. You're going to go in the kitchen and put all your dishes away that are now clean, and you're going to have an empty space for dirty dishes as they accumulate during the day. And you're going to make yourself a little coffee, um, a little tea, a little breakfast, whatever it is. You might also go start your laundry and go through one inch of paper before you even get the kids up if you have kids. And then get your children up and put them through a morning routine. This is the beginning of your story. Your story that influences your children, that influences your husband, that influences your neighbors, that influences your mother, but it's not their story. It's an influence on them. And they'll say, oh my goodness, Mary, I can't believe you changed so much. You're different. <laughs> and you know what the difference is? You're happy. You're peaceful. 
you're centered. It's so important to feel centered, not to feel like you're walking on a train all the time. Have you ever walked on a moving train? Yes, I used to work for Amtrak, so that's something I'm familiar with. How about walking on the deck of a boat when the boat's moving or there's a lot of waves? That's the way we feel when we're not centered. We just feel not right, not whole, not constant. And so we're gonna change our life and we're gonna make ourselves into the person that we want to be, the person that we were born to be, and the person that our family loves deep down inside, but if you've been hiding yourself, okay? So now's the time to think about not just your home, but also your story. You know, lately I've been thinking about writing a book, not a book on Fly Lady, a suspense novel. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking I might really do that. Um, it's something that just dropped into my head and my heart, and I think I might, I might do that one of these days soon. And I don't know, it's my story. You know, what is my story gonna be, end up being? I don't know, but guess what, I'm having a ball living my story. I love living in my RV. How many people would be afraid to do that or don't want to do that ever? It doesn't bother me because I love it and my husband loves it. Together we love it and we're going to travel. We're getting ready. As soon as my mother's house is sold, we're gone. We're going to spend the 4th of July here with my family and then we're gone. We're off to see the wizard. <laughs> we're off to see the United States. We're off to see the places and people that we want to see. And um, we're gonna come back September through January uh, because I have two seniors in high school playing football and in the band, and they're gonna graduate. So we're gonna be here for September to January. Then we're gonna come back in June for their graduation. Uh, we'll probably be here for the 4th of July next year. Who knows? Uh, but we'll definitely be here for June graduations. And we're gonna see Mount Rushmore. And we're going to go to, I don't know, just think Deadwood, <laughs> you know, all the wonderful places, Death Valley, uh, Salt Lake City, all the places that we have been or we'd love to go see. Um, I'd love to go to Glacier Park, Montana. I've never done that. We're going up to Maine in August uh, with friends and we're going to have a good time there. We're going to have friends come down here in October. This is our story. And in the meantime, I'm not ashamed to have somebody come into my home. And even though it's on wheels, it's still got a bedroom and a bathroom and a closet and a washer and a dryer and a refrigerator and a sink and a stove and an oven and a microwave and a fireplace and televisions and a living room and a dining room. And we have a cockpit. <laughs> Most houses don't have that. That's our entryway. And we have outdoor space. And I want to keep that looking nice. And it is just as hard which isn't hard but it's just as it's the same steps as it takes to take keep a house clean now i don't have any children undoing everything i do and i know that is an issue and that's part of raising your children to learn to do things one of my clients just sent me today one of my uh, mentees sent me a video of her little girl with her little baby teeth in her bathing suit using her bissell vacuum cleaner and I pushed the button because it had the little circle on it and I could hear her say, I'm vacuuming. You know what? And she was looking down and after she smiled at the camera, she's looking down and she's working. She's loving it. She feels important. That's her story beginning. And so your story affects other people's stories. So don't be that sad, depressed person who just can't get it together. This is an easy thing to do. It's a bunch of easy steps. We tend to think things that we think are hard take a long time. And we tend to think things that are fun take no time at all, when actually the opposite is true. Things that are fun take a while. And things that are not your favorite don't take long at all. But I think what we do is we bunch them all together and we say this whole thing has to be done and it's going to take me forever when instead what you really have to do is one load of laundry. What you really need to do is fold one load of laundry. What you really need to do is wipe out two sinks and swish two toilets. What you really need to do is make your bed. These little things just take a few minutes. So change your story today. Change your story. Write your story anew. You know, you don't have to throw everything out, the baby with the bathwater, absolutely not. But take what you have and create your life the way you really want it to be. 
Okay, that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope that you always remember that you are beautiful. So be beautiful.